Hey guys, welcome to this video um, in which I'm just going to show you one of the packages I published yesterday on NPM and basically just walk you guys through how I did that so that if you want to do it yourself, if you have a, an idea or a package which you want to publish, what should you do, how should you go about it. So I already have a video on publishing NPM packages, but that deals with what you have to do to get it online. But in this video, I want to just discuss what are the practices you should follow basically while developing an NPM package so that your package is optimized and you know stuff like that. So about the package I developed, this basically just allows you to draw a graph, literally a graph on the screen. And uh, you just have to specify your vertices and you know the edges between the vertices. And uh, it's basically a React package. And just specify some more options like the radius of vertex, font size, colors of edges and vertices, and stuff like that. And it will basically just draw it on the screen for you. Right? So, um, this basically is not really a very complicated package, it's relatively simple. But the reason I did create it is because um, there's something coming up soon on Codedam, codedam.com, especially on the learn part. So, um, that would be used that there. So I just wanted to create something like this and while I was creating it Why not just open source it? So in future if someone wants to you know use it or maybe even contribute it to make it better um, He or she can do that so how I did this well, you see this is basically a Index file just like how we would do regular react projects, but what's going on here? So if you take a look at all of this stuff one by one, what's happening here is if you want to create a npm package, the first thing you need to have is a package.json file, right? A package.json file actually consists of the name, version, stuff like that, which is actually required by npm, right? So name is basically the name of your package, which happens to be like what you do while doing npm install and, you know, your package name. Your version number is basically you know what your version then so on and so forth the bin the main script the script here which inside is the main is basically the script which um, happens to be the one which is included right so in your own application what you're gonna do to use this package is write import craft from react js crafts which is the name of my package right so what this line turns into is basically it's actually importing this main script file right here which is written inside package.json file right so what you have to remember basically um, if you're creating um, let's say a package your main inside your package.json json should point to what should be imported when someone imports your package in my case it's build slash index.js which is created after minification and stuff but essentially it's this graph.js file right so this is the file actually which is imported when you actually do import graph from react.js graphs this is exactly the file which is imported right this component component is imported once it's imported then you can you know do your usual stuff and uh, just use it as a react component because you're importing it as a react component right the only difference between this graph.js and build slash index.js is that that's this build slash index.js is actually parsed by webpack and converted to you know react.create element stuff like that calls instead of jsx and stuff so this is basically usable as a module right and uh, what else is Again, inside your webpack config itself, what you have to do is uh, basically pretty much the same. Just I needed I needed to change this library target to common JS two, otherwise it did not work. Still, I'm um, you know learning about packages and stuff. I've just published a couple of packages on npm, so this basically means how your output should be. So should it be a common JS module? Should it be a common JS two module? There's little difference between CommonJS and CommonJS2. That is basically involving just module.exports and exports. But, you know, it's basically the same. Right, so um, this basically turns your 
exported created output file into a common JS module, which is then imported with your Babel loaders and stuff. Then um, basically this all these configurations are your default configurations, which work essentially the same. Um, just like how would you test it? The thing I'm doing here with the entry point is that if it is a production, production means that I'm building this, right? This production is true only if I'm building it, then I want to include the graph.js as the source as the entry file for webpack. Otherwise, I want to use index.js. Now, obviously, this is because I'm using webpack dev server to actually test my component as well. So, you know, basically, if I change this to HTML to HTML5 and change it here also, you see that it gets reflected here. So, I'm using webpack dev server for that, right? And uh, again, there's this stuff for webpack config. Then these are our regular webpack config module loaders, right? For package.json, we have something known as peer dependencies, dependencies, and dev dependencies. Dev dependencies are not included as your required dependencies when you're installing a package, right? So if you if you guys install this package, you won't need to install this, these things. These are just required for my development purposes. Peer dependencies is basically the dependencies which are expected to be present because this particular package is expected to be run inside a React environment. You see, I'm running a I'm returning a um, a React component here. So I expect obviously that the React, React and React DOM dependencies are already present, right? So this is peer dependencies. Then dependencies are actually the stuff you really need, which is Conva, React Conva, and prop types. Prop types is for validation. React Conva and Conva are the graphing libraries I'm using to create this uh, beautiful chart, right? So this was a very basic video on um, my package, which I published. I'll put a link in the description for this package if you want to try it out. And if you want me to do a detailed video on how to create packages from scratch and publish it on NPM, do let me know in the comments. It's not really on my priority, but if you guys want it, I can create a video on that. So I think that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and thank you for watching.